Hello Johnny and welcome to the Tuesday vlog on Tuesday the 26th of January 2016. Yep, yep, yep. Oh, oh my god! It's very windy! Stop it! Please. Look! Stop it! Stop it! It's raining very heavily. It's um, very windy as you can tell, which is why I'm having to shout instead of just talk quietly and um, yeah anyway and apart from the weather and the fact that I'm gonna have to do a paper round in this in strong winds and very heavy rain oh god mud 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 apart from that uh, everything's going well oh my god ah, no stop it Ew. Uh, well, that, um, yeah, uh, yeah, yeah, that's what the wind has done. Now it's the joy of joys, my paper round. Beat. <laughs> This is great, isn't it? Yeah. Good on me. Three, four, e, five. Ah. Uh. Jeez. Ugh. Jeez. Ah. As you can tell, that was extremely good fun. You know, I always love doing a paper round with very strong winds in the rain. Yay! Walking back the whole way up. That's what I'm doing. That's what I'm doing. E. E. Three, two, one, stop. And now we come onto the topic of Reading FC. Yep. Reading Football Club. Johnny, in your last Thursday in your Thursday vlog last week, you mentioned this quite a lot went into quite a lot of detail, detail about um, and the, just the transfer window in general throughout January and how we've only got like five days left is it? One interesting signing is that um, Newcastle have agreed a 12 million fee for Andros Townsend now um, I'm not sure if he's the type of player that's gonna keep him up single-handedly I mean he will definitely help 
you know, adds a spark. As we've seen, you know, we can score some cracking goals, mate. But um, yeah, I think they they might. I think they probably will survive. I think Sunderland are eh, more or less stuffed. You know, I think they might probably be going down. Joining us in the Championship next season, Johnny, because I don't see Reading as playoff candidates. You know, I mean, we might do. If he gets more goals in the league, Vidra, we hopefully will push for the playoffs because at the moment I don't see it happening. So yeah, Newcastle have agreed a 12 million fee for Townsend. Um, Crystal Palace have, si have signed Emmanuel Adebayor, uh, which is a decent signing, I think. He's um, on a free transfer until the end of the season, so yeah. Derby have signed Blackburn defender Olsen. Don't really know much about that. And the big news for us Reading fans, um, Johnny, and everyone else who's a Reading fan out there, one of the big talking points is, of course, Orlando Saar. He went off to some foreign club. <laughs> Just I can't remember the name of it. Some foreign club. Don't know what the fee was. It might be an undisclosed fee so as, as of today or whatever. But he's gone off to there, you know. Brian McDermott must have just thought, right, we can just let him go because I'm not going to be not going to be playing him, and he hasn't he hasn't got much had much game t game time, and that's where he wants, and that's why he's gone off to wherever it was. So yeah, and talking about the two signings, yeah, they are good signings, and in my opinion, I think say if McShane gets injured, Hector out of form as he sort of is now. I mean, is he really worth four million at the moment? Don't think so at the moment. Um, I think we might need a, a centre back slash CDM, like one more. I think just in case of any injuries or if somebody just has a terrible run of form. And I think we do need another signing. I don't, no idea who we need, but we just need another signing. We don't need like a midfield player. We just need like possibly another striker, or as you said, Johnny, in your Thursday vlog, we might need, you know, another forward thinking player. Somebody's like right. Let's go forward for the goal instead of going back to the keeper or passing it around for ages, you know. And if any of you have any suggestions on who Reading should sign in the end to the final stages of the January transfer window, leave your comments in the comment section down below on who Reading FC should sign. We've already made a couple of good signings. We've sold Orlando Saar off to some club. Can't remember who the name was. But who else do we need? Right, Johnny, that pretty much sums things up. And I will see you for Super Saturday Vlogs Week 85 in four days' time. Um, where Reading have another important game in the FA Cup against Walsall. Um, Walsall knocked out Brentford, and of course in the league we lost to Brentford, I believe. 2-1, I think. So, um, be interesting to see. But if I can, we we can do a sort of thing last season, where we finish a bit higher maybe in the league rather than nineteenth, maybe push for the playoffs or mid table maybe, which would be not the best but not the worst. But if we can get to like the semi finals, or I really want us to get to Wembley again, because as you remember, Wembley, April twenty fifteen was insane. I'm just going to leave you now with a few clips from Wembley and after those clips you will be seeing me on Saturday. Come on you Oz. Right sir.